The hood is the symbol of torture, a mask worn by its victims and by its perpetrators. In a year-long investigation with the French network of the CBC, we found that many of those perpetrators live remarkably ordinary lives outside their black business. There are no grisly scenes in this documentary, but there is a frightening look into the minds of otherwise civilized people who defend the policy of cruelty. So part of our documentary on torture is we basically focused in on, on, the, on the British Army. And uh, I remember going into uh, Ireland with our, with our crew and basically the British Army officer, and this is during the Troubles, the height of the Troubles, our army looked at my passport, looked at me, said, Mr. McKenna, you're from here, aren't you? And I said, not recently, sir. You'll be getting no help from us. And, uh, and they were good through their word. They gave us no help whatsoever. But the IRA, of course, uh, seeing the uh, propaganda value of having a Canadian uh, film crew uh, around, uh, were keen to help us in, in any way we asked. And, uh, and they rounded up for us, these people who, again, had been tortured by the British Army, using the hooded treatment, which is basically a, a soft cloth hood over your head, and then you lean against the wall, holding yourself just with your fingers. And if you, uh, if you fall down, uh, they kick you and beat you and put you back up. And, uh, and then they sleep, deprive you, they deprive you of sleep, and, uh, and then they hit you. And basically, uh, again, trying to, uh, to create zombies. And uh, it didn't work. And it, what it did do, what it did do is it created uh, soldiers for the IRA. There's no question about it. They're pouring gasoline on the fire. The, the IRA guys we met were just were sort of working class bums uh, uh, who were, you know, trying to protect their families, who... Uh, uh, we had some, I mean, sort of funny encounters with the British Army. They wouldn't help us, so we... You know, we had Vic Saren was shooting it. He was one of our master uh, cineasts, and uh, I remember we <laughs> we spotted this British Army patrol and we started chasing it, and it would die. It was and with the camera rolling the whole time, and we kept, he kept dodging, ducking into this, ducking there, and um, then finally the officer came up to me and said, "The Royal Ulster Constabulary are going to be here." Excuse me, the Royal Ulster Constabulary will be here in about ten minutes, so uh, I advise you to uh, to leave. And so we, uh, we uh, went, went in, got into our van, just as the RUC arrived in their armored jeep. And they started chasing us, and, but our, uh, our IRA driver knew the best way to shake them was to duck into, not the Catholic area, which you would expect, but into the Protestant area. And we lost our, uh, our tail, our British Army trail. But it was, uh, it was, it was hair-raising, actually, because a lot of dark things were going down uh, with the IRA and the British Army at that time. <laughs> 